Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the 2015 Mid-Season Invitational taking place in Tallahassee, Florida. It's time for our seventh match with AHQ facing off against Besiktas Esports Club. Let's start off with AHQ. Yeah. How are they going to get a victory here? Well, right now they need to just play what they've been playing right from the last two games that we saw because AHQ came out of the gate swinging and they, they're trying to assert themselves as a top four team to make it into the bracket stages and out of the round robin. Didn't think it was going to be that situation coming into today, but they showed that they aren't just here to learn. They're here to actually compete after that last game against Fnatic. I feel like that BJK really needs to look out for how the early game and the first 20 minutes are going to happen because they went 10k ahead uh, behind and losing games twice around 26 and a half minutes they really need to step up their early game. You know, we know that they're a really aggressive team, but I feel like AHQ is really telegraphing what they're trying to do. They've capped bottom lane relentlessly both these games. Even when they had a Fizz, you'd think, oh, you want to cap the Fizz lane, and Fizz would be screaming, cap my lane. <laughs> well, no, he's just going bottom lane himself. All the attention is going bottom. So if, uh, if Besiktas can actually prepare for that, which should be relatively easy, it's just one lane, yeah. they, they could probably <laughs> counter it and do really well. All right, well, let's flip over to that other side. Besiktas, Spawn, how does our wildcard team come away with the victory in this one? Yeah, well, realistically, this is probably their best shot at the victory. So that's exactly how they have to tackle it. These guys, as well as Fnatic, maybe, but Fnatic are showing that they're really stepping up at the moment, are probably the two teams that Besiktas would have targeted specifically. And the reason that this one gives me a lot of help is because the LMS was attached to the Garena region, and we've already seen Besiktas go through the Bangkok Titans. They did it in the international wildcard, and they did it handily. They actually dealt with the early game aggression really well. Bangkok Titans is a team that lacks the turret dive. You will send so many people. They even have a Lee Sin player on their lineup still, even on the latest patch. That's how aggressive these guys are. So the fact that they were able to get through that, I think that this is a match that Besiktas can really target. So Sheepy, it seems like for both of these teams, the key lies in the early game. Yeah, and I think both have the possibilities to do a lot in the early game. I think a lot will come down to the first blood, and both of those teams have the most bloodthirsty supports, uh, Elvis and Dumbledore. Elvis, Dumbledore, I'm just expecting magic to happen in this game. There you have it. I mean, both of them stellar first bloods on on Faker and one. But but that's the other thing. They took those for, those first bloods for themselves. They they weren't willing to give them away to their eighty carries. Thresh man, the Thresh is so easy at getting the Jana one. I was a little bit surprised, but Thresh is like the easiest person to get first. They're blood absolutely on. bloodthirsty supports, and that's what I like to see. All that's right. how I like my support. <laughs> well, I'm hoping for a kill heavy game as well as we send it to our caster desk. Besiktas Besiktas is Thaldrin talks about his team synergy. I think our team fighting and positioning is really good. Uh, even without communication, we think in the same way, so we act as a whole without communication. So I can say that our synergy is good and that is what uh, makes us strong. Hey guys, welcome back to the Caster Desk. I am Doa, that's Monte Cristo and Deficio over there. And we are going to bring you your final two games of the night. First off, Besiktas versus AHQ. Now this game is actually really interesting now because AHQ took out Fnatic, so another win here could give them actually a really good chance to get to the playoffs. Yeah, and if we judge the two teams here, of course AHQ will be the favorites. Besiktas not really had a good showing so far. Yeah. What do you think? Oh, uh, I think that HQ really does have to win this, like you said, Doa. And uh, I still have a bit of concern about HQ. Their Baron stats and their playoff run not going so well so far. They've actually only taken 45% of the Barons in their games uh, back in Taiwan. But beyond that, I think uh, they're a strong favorite. They're a strong yep. favorite. And there is Besiktas on your screen, of course. And yeah, let's go ahead and check out the starting lineups for today's games, by the way. So. We can get that up and rolling. Yep, that would be good. Okay, it's, it's uh, Theldrin up in the top lane, of course. Or never mind, there's HQ. Let's HQ first, yeah. Them instead, Ziv in the top lane, Mountain in the jungle, Westor, of course, at mid lane, and at ADC, and Albus down at support with their coach backstairs. And on the red side, it is Besiktas Esports Club. In the top lane, we've got Thaldrin, Jungle, Theocles. Mid lane will be Energy, AD Carry, Nardius, and Support, Dumbledoge. Of course, the Dumbledoge here. But if you look at this Besiktas lineup, coming into this tournament, we often talk about Nardius being one of the big carries. But Thaldrin in the top lane, at least in a wildcard tournament, was a big force. Here, 
we haven't really seen anything except for maybe the first five minutes from the team where, be, where they've been doing well. Got the first ball on Faker, everyone talks about it. As a team, they really have to adjust in terms of the pick and ban phase. I mean, you cannot first pick a Morgana at this level here and then give away so strong picks. They will be on the purple side. We're going to have HQ on blue side, so we'll, we won't get to see a uh, West Store last pick. That's going to be one of the changes. Let's see if he can adapt. He doesn't really play a whole lot of safe champions in the mid lane, except for maybe 